table for two, table for two, having fun, playing games, just me and you. Welcome to the Table for Two show. I'm Phil. And I'm Jane. Welcome back to our pandemic month. Yay, trying pandemics. To, yay. Try to do as many as we can. be cheering for. <laughs> There's a lot of them, and I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of time to do all of them. We're going to try. Right. So, this month, or this month, <laughs> this, whatever, today. <laughs> today, right here, right now. Right now. You're watching, you know right Last now. year we used to do monthly shows. That's why I probably said this month. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a unique version of pandemic. Not as unique as rapid response. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one I really loved. I think you loved too? I liked it, yeah. You don't love it? I, I liked it. You can't play if you don't love it. <laughs> Just kidding. This one is called Pandemic the Cure. Mm -hmm. Not the rock group, the cure. It's Fridays. I'm in love. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, the cure. This is a totally same concept, totally different version. You'll see in just a minute. But before we talk about the game, we need our cure. So... Today's cure is <laughs> Blue Sky Vineyards from mm. Illinois. So we thought we'd go with an Illinois vineyard. Yeah. Uh, down south Illinois. This is actually mm -hmm. where we saw the eclipse a couple of years back. Very cool vineyard. Uh, we bought this white wine. It's called Sival. Um, but anyway, white wine. I already poured it because ahead of the time I wanted to mm -hmm. get ready. So we don't want to take too much time to pour. There we go. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Fruity. Peachy. Kind of peachy, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's, well, you know what? This is good for summertime. But yeah. it, it's not summertime right now. No. <laughs> but that would have been a great one like, with some fruit. It would, yeah. All right, well, we'll drink it. Maybe anyway. some cheese. Well, we'll fruit and cheese. Anyway, <laughs> so let's see. What do you have to do to win the cure? Uh, oh, you have to get the cure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so basically, there are four diseases, like usual, that yep. you have to cure. And they're colored black, blue, yellow, and red. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about how you get that in just a moment. But what's unique about this version of Pandemic, same concept, you've got to get four cures to win the game. Yep. But there's no board. Mm -hmm. Well, not really. Not really a board. Instead, they give you this really cool, I'm going to call it plastic. Um, I guess it's plastic, right? Yeah. A treatment center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. You can make a picture frame. <laughs> I feel like Miranda. <laughs> Sorry, you don't know who Miranda is, gotta go look. Anyway, anyway, on the treatment center, there's two, um, for a better word, um, guides. One is for the um, infection rate. So mm -hmm. from the green here all the way through the green here is the infection rate. Counter, I guess it's counter. Yeah. And then we have the outbreak counter. Yeah. It's a little shorter with a little red poison guy again like you're used to on the board. Mm -hmm. So it's basically taking what's on the board normally and putting it in this little treatment center. Yeah. And there's little syringes that mark where you are. The fun part is um, the same thing holds true as regular pandemic. If you get eight outbreaks, little poison guy, mm -hmm. game over, you're dead. Not really dead, but you would lose. Yeah. But the infection track is a little bit different. Um, if you get all the way to the end of the infection track, you also lose the game. It's yeah. a little bit different. But you can start in different areas. There's the intro game if you've never played pandemic before, so you get a lot, lot more options here. You have the uh, standard game. And you also have what's called the heroic version of it. So if you really want to have less chances, you know, basically the more chances to, yeah. to lose, obviously you get closer and closer. And then obviously, the later you start, the faster things accelerate too. So boomerang, zoom, oh, sorry. yeah, Mr. Rogers. Anyway, <laughs> what was that show? No, Romper Room. She used to have the mirror. I see Billy. Mm. Okay. Anyway, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, write the comments below. All right. So anyway, so that's like you put that right in the middle of everybody. Then there's this CDC. Mm -hmm. um, uh, marker or place to put thing, things. Yes. CDC stands for? Centers for Disease Control right, for should, those of you in the U.S. Everybody should know that. Um, that goes next to the treatment center. Mm -hmm. And then surrounding the treatment center, around the treatment center, you'll see on the, um, by the way, take a look below at the play through the pictures below. Mm -hmm. So you'll see all of this. There are six um, better parts of the world. Yeah. So here's North America, for example. You can't really probably see that. It's a map of North America. And then we've got Europe. And basically there's six of them. So and they eight. basically took the map and just went poof. You're now in six circles. Here's some circles, <laughs> and eat, but but what's different is each circle has a die a die on it, one mm -hmm. through six, and they go around like a little clock around the treatment center. So that really is your board, yeah, for a better word. Um, but you'll say Jane, maybe you won't say Jane. Maybe say <laughs> Phil. Why is there a die on there? Well, yeah. Why because, is there a die on there? Because there's dice. Oh, lots of dice. We love dice games, actually. So this is <laughs> right, pandemic still. 
but it's using dice. Mm -hmm. And you'll see there's four colors of dice, which are kind of like the disease cubes. Yes. In the other game. There's black, yellow, blue, and red, and they're very pretty, and you can see through them like jello. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Um, and basically, at the beginning of the game, you roll the dice, and you're putting, you know, based on the number, one goes in the one uh, circle, and two goes in the two circle. And so you're basically putting out the diseases and where they are. Mm -hmm. Same rule holds true to regular pandemic. If you have three of the dice on the, on the you know, if I have three ones on here in red, same color, mm -hmm. I go to put a fourth. Guess what happens? It goes clockwise to the next one. Outbreak, right? Yep. So you get that outbreak, and that's when your outbreak goes up on the on the uh, meter here. Yep. And so basically, you're um, hoping not to do that. Yeah. Right? You're hoping to cure some, uh, you know, treat some. And you always do it, just like every pandemic we played so far. Mm -hmm. But it's just a little bit different. So you start out with a whole bunch of diseases on the board. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave that. And then each player still receives a uh, a roll card, right? There's a whole bunch of them. What I like about these is there's there. You can actually put these on a lanyard. There's like a little slot yeah. for them. So you can wear them to work. You're like, I'm a generalist. <laughs> I'm a medic. <laughs> but I like how has, I just thought that was adorable. You can mm -hmm. probably put this on and go to work and see what happens. But what do you have there? I'm a generalist. Um, anyway, so each roll gets a pawn, of course, mm -hmm. in their appropriate color. And that starts uh, on the on the game board. And uh, on the uh, I think it's the number one spot, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah. And then each roll has their own set of dice, more dice. Um, not numbered dice, but more like icon dice, yeah. right? So Phil got the orange ones to match the medic. Mm -hmm. I got the gray. But my special ability is I actually got two extra gray dice. I actually get seven dice where Phil only got five. Mm -hmm. Because that was my special ability is to have two more dice uh, than you. Ha ha. Yeah, but I have special <laughs> dice too, so. You did. And that's the thing. <clears throat> Every roll, just like regular pandemic, has special abilities. Mm -hmm. So Tom, sometimes most all the dice have similar features. Yours had something special. Yeah. Mine had something. Well, I had something special, but I had that two extra dice. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. <coughs> I better take some wine. <coughs> I, I swallowed okay. it. <laughs> okay, that's better. Oh, that's really that's really peachy. Yeah. Um, so I get seven, he got five. So how the game works is very simple. Um, not, yeah, same concepts, right? But the first thing is you, on your turn, you roll your dice, mm -hmm. right? Your icon dice. And what's really nice is that there's different symbols on the dice and they represent different things. We'll talk about those in just a minute. But what is nice is unless it's um, what they call the, I can figure out what it's called. It's called the biohazard. <laughs> unless it's a biohazard, you can actually re-roll your dice mm -hmm. during your turn. Like, I don't like this. I want to try to re-roll for something else. Although you could probably get a biohazard, hazard, which I'll talk about in a minute. But the dice rolls basically are, um, you get a plane, a little airplane. Yeah. And that allows you to fly anywhere, for a better word, on the board. But basically any of the round circles you can fly to. Like, I could be on yeah. number one and I want to go to number five and I want to fly over there. Maybe I want to treat stuff or something. You have the boat. The boat actually is, you're moving from one um, to adjacent tile to another. Yeah. So one to two, two to three, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have, um, actually, you want to talk about this one because you have special power on this one. Yes. It's a syringe. Yes. So talk about the syringe a little so bit. With, you had special powers. I so didn't. with the syringe, so picture these dice are, you know, on, let's, I'll just do it this way. Let's say I've got a die right here on uh, number one. Number one. If I want to, I mean, the goal of the game is obviously to treat and cure stuff. So I use a single syringe to move that die to the treatment center. Yeah, it goes in the middle of the treatment <laughs> center. So it's like one... And by the way, you have to be on that... Yeah. You know, he, he, his pawn has to be on number one. <laughs> and that represents that. literally that it's now in the treatment center. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, the other thing I can do with that is to treat it in the treatment center, and then it goes back in the bag. Right. So the treat or the syringe, you can do one of two things. You're either taking it from a circle and putting it in the treatment center or taking it from the treatment center and putting it in the bag. And you yes. might go, why would you put it in the bag? Then you have more stuff to have bad stuff later. Well, because <laughs> if you go to take stuff out of the bag during the infection phase, which is normal in every mm -hmm. pandemic game, and you have nothing left or not enough, you lose. Yes. So you want to make sure you have enough dice in there. Yeah. To do your infection phase, hopefully before you win, yeah. where, you know, but otherwise you lose again. So that's, yeah. again, three ways to lose. You get to the end of the infection uh, bar here. You get at the end of the outbreaks. So you get the poison guy, mm -hmm. or you run out of dice to put on the uh, the board. So yeah. you want to make sure you're putting dice back in the bag here and there, exactly. you, especially if it's yeah. getting low. And you can feel if it's getting low. You kind of have an idea. <clears throat> so my special power special was it's not on this dice, but mm -hmm. the uh, orange die 
had uh, one face had a two syringes on it, and another face had three syringes on it. So you could actually do two or three if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah, so that was pretty cool that those are my extra abilities. And they're just literally right on the dice, so you don't have to remember to do it or anything. Mm -hmm. And if you want to cure one of the diseases, you can't cure it until you get some samples. Yeah. So there's this little uh, icon that looks like a little bag or a little bottle, like when you know, Give a sample of the little, doctor's little office. Pocketbook. <laughs> well, no, it's supposed to be like a sample of the I doctor's know. office. You stick it in a purse. In New York pocketbook <laughs> purse. Um, if you have that icon and you're on a space with, let's say, the red die, you can say, "I'm going to take that as a sample," and then you take your your die with the red die and you put that on your card. So now you've collected a sample. Isn't yeah. that cool? Now, during the course of your actions, if you find there's a, a die you don't need or you don't like, you can re-roll and try to get something else. Mm -hmm. But you have to be really careful because I did that a lot. But it's almost like a push-your-luck situation. Yeah. So there's the other one phase, which we all love, is the biohazard phase, which yeah. you, see in the, you see in the playthrough. When you get the biohazard, right, that's not a good thing, right. as you can imagine. Now, what was cool about my generalist is the first biohazard I roll... I, I don't get to do anything with it. I can't re-roll it, but I can ignore it, mm -hmm. which is really, really, really cool. Yeah. But if you get a biohazard, what happens is it moves the infection syringe up the board, yes. which is not good because yeah. you don't want to lose. And I kept getting infections. Yeah. And, and you kept, can't re-roll the biohazard. No, it's you, just done. And my problem is I kept re-rolling. You'll see in the playthrough, I kept re-rolling to get other things. I kept getting infections. Yeah. And this thing was going up and up and up. And I was like, oh my God, I'm never yeah. going to... I'm never going to make it. So the buyer has the only thing you cannot re-roll. Mm -hmm. And I want to just point out, um, yeah, okay, that's the other part. Yeah. Right. Unless you have a special event card available. Yeah. yeah. But what's nice is, not well, nice, when you get to a section of the infection um, wheel here, and you, know, you see like it passes through different colors, different sections, then it starts an epidemic. Yeah. Which is not good. And you guys are probably familiar with the epidemics of the other games. So then... The whole hell breaks loose. It's just not not yep. good. It's just not good stuff. Yeah. So um, you be careful with those rolls for sure. But after you do all your actions from your die rolls, uh, you do whatever you can to you know again treat or move or you know whatever collect specimens, the whole nine yards. Then you can decide. You know I can look at Phil's card and say okay he's got two. Let's see he has two yellow die specimens that he's collected, mm -hmm. and I have one yellow die specimen that I've collected. We can, it's almost like the knowledge transfer. Yeah. In, in Pandemic, the original, you can say, okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to transfer this over to you, or he can transfer it over to me in his mm -hmm. turn, because the more dice you have, the better you have to cure that disease. Yes. Because if you have enough dice in that color, like three mm -hmm. yellow or three red or whatever it is, you can, on your turn, part of your turn can be try to cure. Right. Curing. Curing, you need to roll a 13 with the dice you have. Lucky so obvious, 13. Obviously, two dice won't make it. You have to have at least three. Yeah, three dice will kind of make it, but you better roll pretty well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you need something special out yeah, there, like, like an first, event that lets you re-roll. My first three, I had like a one and one and a three or something. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, and I, I think I rolled 12 a couple times. Like, oh, man. So you kind of need a fourth die if you really want to be sure yeah. you're going to get it. But, no, you could get it, but, yeah, definitely try to go with <laughs> you the fourth. You could still roll one. <laughs> the fourth specimen or fourth yeah. sample. But when you do uh, get, roll 13, mm -hmm. you take one of those dies, you put it on the, well, whichever color it is, red, blue, you know, whatever it is. You put it on here and say, we cured it. Yay us, yep. right? And then the other two dice, or however many you have left, you put it back in the bag, and yep. then you get your dice back. And that's what's really important, too. When you get that sample, the die that's holding like the sample, you can't use on your future turns. It's kind of yep. like stuck. So as soon as you cure, the better, because you can get your dice back and be yep. able to roll some more. So it's just it's so much different. But then, of course, after... By the way, you don't have to try to do a cure. You don't have to do a, you know, um, pass a specimen. Those are just like optional, if you have the option to do it. Mm -hmm. But then the last thing you have to do is infect. Yeah. Which is like every pandemic game. So again, based on the infection... Um, I'll call it the syringe on the infection uh, wheel here. The intro, you have to pull three infections. And mm -hmm. then uh, same thing for standard, but then a heroic... Actually, they're all three until you it hit this area. It goes up to four. It goes up to yeah. four, and then eventually five. God bless. Yes. Um, so what you're doing there is you're you know, shaking up the die bag, you're pulling out three or however many you mm -hmm. need to pull out, and then you're putting them in the appropriate uh, areas based on the number that's pulled. Yes. Or if you get, and that's a good point, if you get a die roll that has a little like red cross symbol, a little plus sign, mm -hmm. those, anytime you get a die roll with that, those go into the CDC pool. Yeah. This is probably one of the lifesavers of the game, mm -hmm. okay? So when you have a plus sign in the CD pool, you know, a bunch of them, CDC pool, there are event cards. Yes. Just like there is in the regular pandemic game. 
but they're not shuffled into a player's deck. They're just shuffled, and then you have a little deck of event cards. But then you turn over a tableau of three of them. Mm-hmm. So anytime anybody can look at that, three, uh, three options to use, and anybody yes. can use them on their turn, but you have to have enough plus signs, dice, yes. to do that. Yeah, they're not all the same. Some are one, no. two, or three. So, for example, move any pawn to any region. It's called the airlift. I need at least one CDC cube to do that. Mm-hmm. So when you say, I'm going to use this, you take the CDC cube out, and, of course, you throw it back in the bag. So you're basically spending it to use the cards. Yeah. Um, but some of these cards are really important, so you want to keep an eye on what these cards are and that are available. Mm-hmm. And once a card is used, you turn over another one to have a tableau of three, and the old one goes back into the, uh, the, the bottom of the original pile because you can you know, reuse them if you have to get to that point. Yeah. But um, these are important. you got to look at them and see, hey, yeah. what events can we use that can help us hopefully win this game? Mm-hmm. So the big differences really are here is that you don't get a board. You have this more of a uh, world, a dynamic world of circles. Yeah. <laughs> Everything but Antarctica is there. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> um, but really, we, we talked about it all. There's the, again, fly to any region, sail mm-hmm. to any region next to yours, treat an infection, and you're either taking it into the treatment center or into the bag. Collect a sample, hopefully to be able to cure later, or God bless, you get this new biohazard and you advance the infection rate, yeah. which is not fun. Uh, and of course, uh, that's not good. Yeah, there's some, there, there is some good strategizing, too. One thing you notice, too, on these cards, this one has like, uh, it has the blue and the red on it. And that tells you that when you roll dice, those are the Ooh. ones that can come up here. You won't get a you won't roll a red that'll fall on here. That'll be the side that has the plus on it. Yeah. So that kind of helps with knowing where the outbreaks are going to happen. Something we totally stuff. forgot to say, which is super important. Okay, yeah. so when you're taking the dice from the world and mm-hmm. putting them into the treatment center, that's when you can take them as a sample. I want to make sure I stress that it has to be in oh, the yes. treatment center right. to take it as a sample. Uh, or take it to put it in the bag with another treat, right? We talked about that kind of. Yeah. But if you have a whole crap load of them in the treatment center let's just say try not to let that happen like we did okay because if you get to an epidemic point you know when it crosses the line there the epidemic you take all the dice that are in the middle Mm -hmm. plus whatever your infection rate is three more dice from the bag let's say yeah you roll them all and you put them back out and infect the world i think we had like 15 of them at one point so that epidemic is kind of it's kind of like the original game yeah. where you have to, you know, take, you know, take the bottom card and give it three, and then you, you know, obviously change yeah. it and you put it back on top, and you have to infect the world again. But this is even meaner, I think, because you take all the dice that are in there. Now there's only two dice, yeah. not so bad. But you have, we had one point, we had like seven or eight in there. Yeah, oh. it was a lot. So suffice it to say, we lost our first game. Yeah, because I thought I was being cool by treating, treating, and I just kept dumping it in the center, and then there goes the epidemic. We learned our lessons. Yeah. But, but that's how you learn. You play once, you play yeah. twice, you start to realize, oh, what's the strategy here? Um, but again, same concept, mm-hmm. different way to play. I like that it's portable. I mean, to me, this is much easier. You can take all this, literally, and the little circle. <laughs> Which <laughs> splits in half, by the way. Yep. And it's like a puzzle piece, for a yeah. better word. And you can put it in this bag if you want dice. You could. And take it with you. And yeah. the cards, of course. But, I mean, this is, you know, really, I mean, this is probably my second favorite pandemic game. I mean, Iberia was really good because it was kind of like the original. I yeah. love the original. But I'm kind of digging this almost on an equal value to the original. Or maybe even a little more for me. I don't know how you feel about it. I like the original. I still like that one the most. Okay. I think I like pan, uh, this one second in Iberia. Sure. I don't know. It depends on my mood, I guess. Yeah, as of right now, that's kind of how it stands for me. It's yeah. kind of like they're kind of like this. I like them both. Um, but yeah, take, take a look at the Cure. Again, a little more portable. Mm-hmm. Uh, great, great option to get. And, uh, and hopefully uh, you'll try this one. Yep. And we're trying them all for you. So hey, how about yeah. that? If you don't want to try it, then you said, oh, they don't like it. It looks like it's all right. You don't have to buy it. That's true. <laughs> or you could win it next month. Don't forget, we have a contest next month where we'll be giving away a pandemic. Mm-hmm. So and if you don't like pandemic, then wait till March. <laughs> yeah, wait till March when we do other games. All right, guys. Well, the Table for Two show. We'll see you next time with another pandemic. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>